when it comes to cleaning visible mould out of the silicon, I've got bad news. You can't. The only way to get rid of this because it's behind the silicon is to actually remove it and then to get someone to re-put me new silicon. However, when it comes to grout, there's a lot we can do. Now, depending on how sensitive you are, if you are an asthma or have allergies, or if you are, have fatigue syndrome that is due to chemical sensitivities or mold, then I would strongly suggest you get a old toothbrush and get a combo of dish liquid and bicarb soda, combine them in equal amounts, and then dip the toothbrush into it and scrub onto the grout that way. So I've made a solution here, which is just half bicarb soda and half um, dish liquid. I just dip the old toothbrush in there and I'm literally, to get rid of this yellow staining created from the biofilm, I'm just literally doing this. Does that take work? Yeah, betcha. Because when it comes to cleaning, there's nothing like elbow grease. So for those with chemical sensitivities, this is the best option. It is time consuming, but it works. But the best news of all is if you actually wiped your showers down after every shower, so there's no moisture, this wouldn't even be a problem. The next option for grout, if you're not, if you're not an asthmatic or don't have allergies, then you may want to opt for something a bit stronger. It's certainly not edible. However, gumption is something that is very effective and it's a better option than bleach, for example. It's like a putty and you literally are putting an old toothbrush into the putty, rubbing it in and then getting a bit on the toothbrush and then um, scrubbing the grout that way. That will get rid of the biofilm and the staining as a result of bacteria and fungi in the grout. So I scrub it in like that way and then I just rinse it off with water and an appropriate microfiber cloth. And that will often be sufficient if your shower isn't too dirty to actually get them white again. If those options aren't viable for you, you may opt for a commercial product. I don't like bleach because bleach can be used as a food source by fungi and bacteria and because sodium hypochlorite, which is the major ingredient of bleach, is a skin, eye and lung irritant and can cause asthma and severe respiratory distress if you're using it in an enclosed space like a shower. I have my product, Mold Control. However, this doesn't prevent mold. Mold is due to moisture sitting on a surface for more than 48 hours. That's why it's important to use a microfiber cloth to get rid of that moisture after showering for the day. However, this can be useful, it's hydrogen peroxide. And what it does is it bleaches or gets rid of the stains where the fungi and the bacteria are actually penetrating the grout. So all you're doing is spraying it onto the surface, obviously in a well-ventilated shower, leaving it for 30 minutes and then wiping it off. And all it's doing is bleaching the uh, grout so that you don't see the staining. It doesn't prevent mold, but it is useful for that.